everybody, Raimi here. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review an app called RunGap. I'm gonna kind of walk through using it. Um, RunGap is used to transfer files from your Apple Watch or another like Garmin watch to Strava, Training Peaks, or anywhere. And you have a lot of control, but it's really great for Apple users because we don't have a lot of options, options for that. So let me go through and I'm gonna show you how to use RunGap. All right, so as soon as I open up RunGap, it takes me to my activities. And there's really not a lot to this app. It's really quite basic. So if I were to scroll down, it would upload all my latest activities if I've done any, but I've already uploaded all my recent ones, so there's nothing to upload. But you can see I have a bunch of different swimming, cycling, running, just random activity, strength training from various devices that I've uploaded here. I'm going to click on one. I'm going to click swimming. You can see it has a bunch of the statistics that I would normally see in a file, but it doesn't have all the ones that it's going to transfer. It only shows some of them. So I can actually click charts and it'll show me some things like my heart rate and various things throughout the workout that you know it wants to display and for every workout running it's something different but it does export all the stats even if it doesn't show them here another cool thing is I can so I'm gonna click up here in the top right corner and I can click edit I can actually edit pieces of my workout what I can edit differs by the type of workout so like for running you can edit different things than you can for biking or swimming and that'll save and be passed along to the you know wherever you export it and if I click the little that little button again you can see I can share I can share to Facebook, I can export the file as a file if I want to upload it manually. But the easiest thing to do is to click share and it actually just shows me a whole list of accounts. And I could upload it to all of these at one time if I wanted to. I can set this to upload it to these automatically. I like to do it manually because I use both Garmin and Apple so I have to do it manually for a few different reasons. Um, but you can see I uploaded my workout today to Strava, Garmin, Training Peaks, and Final Surge. Um, and I've connected those accounts so that I can just click or unclick the button. And then I just click share and it automatically shares them. And you connect, you know, all of your accounts. You can keep a file in Dropbox if you would like to. That's the basics of the app. That's really what there is. Now, there are some, you know, settings and things like that. So here are your activities on the left-hand side. Your friend feed and tracks, if you were to use that. I use friends in Strava. I don't really track my tracks. Tracks are like your course. Um, your account and settings, that's all your different accounts. Like I'm connected to Strava and everything, but if you wanted to connect to like, you know, Fitbit, you would add your Fitbit account and then you could connect to and from Fitbit. Gear is, is like keeping track of the miles on your shoes or bike or something like that, which I do in Strava, not here. Swag bag is what you actually pay for when you're paying for their services. Um, you're paying for the, the swag bag. So there is a free version of this app, um, but it's kind of limited. And I, to use it monthly, it's like $2.99 a month and less than ten, or less than $10 for the whole year. Just get it for the year if you're going to use it because it's for ten dollars it's totally worth it and um what you get makes it especially uh, you can't like you know upload your workouts automatically and some things like that if you don't use the paid version but go ahead and try the free version and see if it's enough for you otherwise just get the paid version share and export just another way to share and export and then some things like rate your app that's it very simple app not a lot to it which is kind of cool because it makes it really easy to use and it's really functional it really does what you want it to do thank you